Hey everybody, so Google has granted me early access to their Gemini 1.5 Pro model. Uh, huge thanks to Google uh, for, for reaching out uh, and I was super happy to test it. So I just like ran some uh, quick tests on it, wanted to get this out there. So let's just go in and check it out. Uh, here we are in AI Studio. Uh, just down here, it actually shows you uh, the number of tokens available. I don't know if that will be on the kind of consumer facing side of this or not. Uh, but I wanted to sort of show, first show you that I uh, uploaded a, uh, a book that I wrote with HarperCollins a, a few years ago, uh, a middle grade fiction uh, book, and less than 300 pages essentially. Uh, and so it's called the Hadley Academy, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, what I really wanted to see from this was to upload it and then to get a sense of whether or not it could really detect things, not whether to kind of find the needle in the haystack, but more to interpret what was going on in there and really see if it was really reading it. Uh, so this is what I was doing a little bit earlier. So you can sort of see that I uploaded the thing and then I said, can you read this? And then it said, yes, this is what it is. Interestingly, it sort of said, uh, it's just chapter one, but it wasn't clearly. So I'm like, what's happening here? So I asked about the main characters, gave me a great little thing about uh, the main characters, like really actually pretty well done, like really well done. And then I said, can you tell me about a plot twist? And it was like, yeah, sure, here's a major plot twist, which is cool because it means that it's actually really absorbing and figuring out what a plot twist is. Uh, a moment where somebody's feeling heightened emotion, uh, it did that really, really well. Uh, can you talk about what might be a climax that came early on? So it did that. Uh, what characters are considered the funniest? I was wondering about that, how it would interpret that. Uh, and it sort of like talked about that and even sort of talked about sort of like the more, uh, you know, other characters have their moments of humor, like through witty banter, sarcastic remarks, things like that. So that's what I was like really impressed with. And then I said, can you tell Jack is the main character when he might have felt awkward in this? Uh, and it talked about a rejection that he got. So I thought that that was actually really cool because again, finding the needle in the haystack is critical, but also really interesting is, is it really interpreting and understanding what it's reading? But just the sheer size of the book. I mean, this was a, again, probably like a 300 page book that it uploaded pretty quickly. I have seen that this can go fairly slowly by other LLM standards. Uh, the second thing that I did, so the second thing that I did was uh, around, uh, I, I wanted to upload a video. So I uploaded this uh, video of uh, motorcycles in Ho Chi Minh City, just sort of, you can imagine traffic pattern. You can imagine what this is like, two minute videos, uh, 39,000 tokens. What is this a video of? So it says a time lapse. Not a time lapse, but okay, uh, in Ho Chi Minh City. I don't know if it was reading the title of it and that's how it got it. So I'm actually curious to sort of uh, see that. It says the video is sped up, but it was not sped up. But uh, again, these are things right off the bat that I sort of noticed. I said, what's unique or interesting about this? I said, unique or interesting. It shows that it's just the sheer volume of traffic, which, yeah, okay, fair enough. And then I said, what are some details that you're noticing that the viewer might not pick up? Uh, this is interesting, sort of like a few people walking across the street, even though there's no crosswalk. Uh, a few uh, police officers directing traffic, very little uh, you know, impact on it. By the way, I'll say that this is the second time I ran through this video. The first time it also picked up on the fact that a lot of people were crossing the road without looking both ways. Now, why is that interesting? Uh, that to me is sort of like anytime where it's kind of detecting a flow of movement is very, very interesting uh, to me. Can you identify any of the models of motorcycle or vehicle and tell me what are the telltale characteristics? Because I didn't want it to just sort of like say, oh, this is a Honda, blah, blah, blah. I want to say like, how did it know? Uh, so it said, sure, we can do a few like Honda Wave. This is a popular model in, in uh, Vietnam. It's also known for its affordability, the telltale, uh, small size, single headlight, simple design. And then it said this, the Yamaha, the Toyota, uh, four doors, relatively simple design. So again, uh, I don't know because I don't know these vehicles, but I wanted to see sort of like what it was picking up and whether or not um, it was seeing something. So now let's ask, uh, do you see any uh, animals in the video? All right, so let's check this in real time. So you can see that it's counting, uh, telling you about how long it's taking. So we'll see on that. Okay, I did not see any animals in the video. I don't think I did uh, either. How about this? How many uh, motorcycles do you count? I don't know if it can do this or not, so let's find out. Because again, that's complicated in terms of counting and it's complicated in terms of just, can it count things? Approximately 150, that's just an estimate. It's impossible to count them all accurately. Uh, do the constant movement and the time-lapse effect. Okay. That could be kind of interesting. Anyway, so there you have it. Look, 
nothing earth shattering to me, but I do think that if it's actually going to start looking at video and really recognizing things in video, that could be huge. I was also very impressed with how it read uh, this book and got a lot out of it. That was very, very cool. So again, I haven't benchmarked uh, the latest on how, uh, what it looks like, but I, uh, in other models, but I do know uh, that just the sheer size of being able to uh, upload something that huge and have with fidelity, it really kind of tracking along with uh, interpreting what was going on in the book. I thought that was really cool. Good job, Google. So that's it. So listen, we'd all love to see Google do uh, really well in this space. Hopefully more people get access to this. Would love to see how people uh, respond to it, what they think about it. Uh, if this was helpful, please don't forget uh, to subscribe uh, to this channel and hope to see you next time.